All right, I want to show you a little something about zoning. Okay, so this is a carrier infinity zoning panel, right? The dampers have a close, common, and open. You can see that here. Close, common, open. So when uh, when it needs to open a damper, it should apply power to common and closed. Common, open, rather. Open damper, common, common, open. When it's opening the damper, you're going to measure voltage from common to open and from common to closed. If you measure from closed to open, it's going to be like 36 volts or something like that. So, because I'm not a very good cameraman, <clears throat> solo anyway, solo cameraman, uh, this is what I have. So I'm being careful not to touch them and short them and pop my one, one amp fuse. But anyways, common and open, right? So, my meter is zero. Um, so I'm going to run up there and, uh, and change it and then run back down and we're going to watch what happens. All right, so I'm in <clears throat> zoning and checkout, zoning checkout. We're going to go to airflow limits. Okay, so right now, sorry, we're going to go to damper and sensor. Right now it says the damper's open, right? And we're on the main floor, which is zone one in my case okay so what it does is it goes through and opens the first it opens the one that's supposed to be open first it does it for 15 seconds okay then it goes and closes the other ones so um, so right now it should be in the process of opening right that uh, the damper that I have connected second floor. Run downstairs. Yeah, it's opening. Okay. So then, getting my wheel and the bobs off. Excuse me, Doug. Oh, come on, cameraman. Zone three, we just checked. This one is done. This one, 27 on open, 24 on closed, and this is zone one. Okay, so zone one, right here, and you can see it's closed, right? Zone one also is this one, and you can also see that it's closed. Then, we saw 24 volts on open, zone 3, oh, and zone 3 is open. Okay, so I said 15 seconds, right? So let's go look at something else. Okay, so if we go to menu and operating status, then temperature control status, it shows what what rooms are heating, what zones are heating, okay? So you'll notice the former living room has two degrees and that has, you know, a little, maybe half a degree or something. So if we go to service, there we go. Go to service information and zoning status tells you what position they're in, right? So second floor didn't need any heat, it wasn't heating, zero, it's closed. Formal living needs, uh, you know, two degrees, so it's gonna be mostly open or open. 15, position 15 is all the way open, and position four is somewhere in between. So now, let's run back downstairs. So let's start with the main floor. You can see that it's just a little bit, right? Like say, uh, well, if it's 90 degrees to get it full open to full close, that's what about position four? Yeah, ish, something. Okay, and then zone three, that looks pretty much straight closed, right? And then the upstairs, or the formal room, rather second floor, second zone, that's straight open. Okay, so I said power's given for 15 seconds, right? 
So if it's given for 15 seconds, that means it's on position five. If it's given for four seconds, that means it's on position four. Given for seven seconds, it's on position seven, and so forth. That way, your damper can open some, open uh, mostly, mo open all the way, or whatever, you know, it's, it's in between. Uh, there's a difference between these dampers that have their power open and power closed. Um, there's a spring open power or power closed. You know, that is completely different. If uh, that one applies voltage 100% of the time. So if it's trying to close, it's always, always powered. So that one, if it's powered on these two, you know, the close and the common, then this motor is going to be powered closed constant and uh, and the motors gonna get really hot it's not it's not really de designed for constant power and then it would have to be powered back open again it's not gonna spring open it's not gonna spring return so um, then there's other dampers and I'm not uh, not real familiar with what brand or anything but there's uh, dampers that have seven positions rather than 15 so turn it on for 15 seconds and it's open all the way. Turn it on for seven, it's open all the way. But if you want it in position four out of 15 and it opens for four seconds, then it's actually gonna be four out of seven, right? So more than half open when it should only be like a quarter open. Anyway, that's all I got. Full open. Same, same position, yep. So incidentally, I drilled a hole here so I can check my static pressure after the damper. Um, I'm going to show you something else. You'll notice there's two sets of wires going into here. So there's one coming from the zone board, comes up over into here, and then goes from there up over to another little damper. Oh, it works. I kind of prefer to have all the wires at the at the board. The reason is because I come to the board and I say, one, two, three, four, there's four dampers in one, two, three zones, right? So then I start looking around, there's one over there, one up there, one up there, one there, that's it, that's all there is. But notice, oh, there's another one. So if you look at that, oh, yep, sure enough, there's another damper somewhere, we've got to find it. Also, they weren't all labeled right this one wasn't labeled so I had to trace out the wires but I got it labeled it this one wasn't labeled either but I was able to figure that one out just by operation because I put it on that that damper assessment and it opened just the one and closed the others and that one opened and that one opened so then I labeled it you can see one yep all right guys Peace out.